Hi guys, my name is Hillary with Barbell Acres, and today I'm bringing to you our favorite um, einkorn whole grain sourdough pancake recipe. Um, so there's a lot of sourdough pancake recipes out there. Um, I've found that some of them are harder to make with the whole grain einkorn, um, but this is our tried and true recipe. It's just so delicious. They're so light and fluffy. Um, you would have no idea if we're making it with whole grain. Um, so if this interests you, please stick around. So basically it doesn't need to be discard. This is very forgiving in my opinion. Uh, but this is discard here. We're gonna use and then we're gonna take three cups of uh, whole grain einkorn flour. That's what I'm using. Um, you do kind of have to test your dough a little bit. So we want it to be the consistency. So maybe start with you know two and a half, three cups. Um, and move on from there. You have to mix it. We want it to be like a nice thick pancake batter consistency. Um, so if you're using spelt flour or another type of flour um, or even all purpose, um, it's going to be different. So um, just kind of start with, like I said, two and a half cups and you can even go up to you know three and a half cups depending on the flour that you guys use. You see how he added a little bit more here. Three cups we find is about perfect for whole grain einkorn flour that we freshly milled. Then we're going to cover it with beeswax wraps and we're just going to let it on the counter overnight just to ferment. It's probably only ferments about uh, 8 to 12 hours I would say depending on what we do it. quarter cup of uh, melted butter. I used raw butter here. Then we're going to take two tablespoons of raw honey. One teaspoon of baking soda. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix that together. It should be a nice thick pancake batter mixture, of course. And then we're going to preheat our uh, griddle. And, uh, we find it uh, easy to use the blackstone here, just because we can basically cook all of them at one time. This recipe makes a nice amount of pancakes. We're not doing overly huge pancakes, of course, because they're for our, our toddlers, but. Spoon, but we did use it in our cast iron skillets for the stove forever, basically. So we always love to put chocolate chips in them. You can use bananas, blueberries, any mixed ins, or you don't need them all, of course, but uh, we just we love chocolate chips mixed in. And when they are set, we turn them until they're nice, like golden brown. Okay guys, so that is it. Um, just a very simple recipe, but we love it. We make them typically every Sunday, make a big batch, and then um, I refrigerate the leftovers that we don't eat, and I give them to my kids on early mornings, and they just devour them, whether it's made fresh that morning or you know have sat in the fridge for a few days. Um, so we typically do it with chocolate chips, pretty much always, um, but you could definitely do blueberries, bananas, you know, whatever you want to do in terms of mix-ins. Um, but yeah, if you try this recipe, please let me know. And if you are trying to like make the switch to more whole grains and milling your own flour or even einkorn, um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, no expert by any means, but I, I do love it. So, all right, thanks guys. Have a great day.